great. So for number 12, you have a population increase problem. This is very similar to the diamond ring problem um, that was number 15. So it says solve. The population of a town increased by 20% in five years. So you know that it was 20%, and then there's the five years. If the population is currently 28,000, so this is the new population, find the population of this town five years ago. So you kind of need to determine whether or not that five plays a part in this at all, and really it does not. So there are some problems, like the one I'm going to send you next, where the number of years does play a part in it. But this one is not because it doesn't say 20% every year for five years. It doesn't say... Um, I mean, that's the, that's the difference, basically. So the five years is irrelevant at this time in this portion of the problem. So now, this is just a simple percent increase problem, kind of like the diamond ring problem. So again, we're going to set it up as a percentage. So the first thing that we want to do is remember that we have the 100% of the population that existed plus the 20%. So we're going to go straight to this portion now. 120% of the original is going to be equal to the new. Now, like I said, they already told you what the new is, so you want to fill that in. So they told you that the new population was 28,000. So we're going to go ahead and put that in for the new spot. And we know we can't keep the 120% as it is, so let's go ahead and change that to the decimal, which is 1.2. And just remember, that's because you're going to take the decimal from over here, and anytime you're going from percent to decimal, you're going to go two spaces to the left. All right, so we get 1.2 of means to multiply, and remember we're going to use that variable, um, we can use the variable for x again. So it'll be end up being 1.2x equals 28,000. From here, you can see that it's a simple one-step equation. So you're going to go ahead and divide each side by 1.2 so that you can get that x alone. And you cross those out, and you're left with x equals 23 comma 333. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it said round to the nearest whole number. So since it, since what you would have gotten on your calculator is 23,333.333, you want to make sure that that stays rounded um, down to the 23,333.